Is it? Okay. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And today, today, ano sinabi ko? Tonight na today, kasi gabi na. So today, I will show you how I turned this black glass tabletop into a DIY marble table type tabletop. So yan. Yay! Finally. By the way, I also turned this table from gray to gold. Dati, plain lang siya. Wala siyang kulay. Parang, alam mo yung coat lang ng bakal? Yun lang yung kulay niya. And then, naisip ko gawing gold. So, ginawa ko na siya. Nauna ko na siyang gawin last November 2019. But, ngayon ko lang naisip na gawing marble top. Kasi, bakit nga ba? Kasi ano, nagdadalawang isip ako na una ko gagawin ko ba siyang marble? Kasi una, parang maganda naman talaga yung as is lang na glass, black glass. Parang classy, ganyan. But then, I realized ko yung peg or yung thing ng bahay na is light and airy. So, as much as possible, gusto ko lahat ng mga furniture. Ganun din, light, airy, minimalist. Although, disclaimer lang, I am not a minimalist person. But, I love minimalist design. So, it's very evident sa mga home decors ko. Saya ko yung masyado maraming arte. Kasi marami na akong gamit. So, gusto ko as much as possible. Simple lang yung mga curves and lines na mga designs ko. So, yun. Um, that's for another day. But, ang dami ko na namang masabi na hindi naman about this vlog or tutorial. So, yeah. So, yung backstory talaga ng table na to was that hindi na dapat namin to dadagan sa new place namin. Sabi nung asawa ko, um, bibili na lang daw kami ng bagong mga tables. But then, your girl is kuripot. So, I said, papamahal pa tayo lalo. So, sabi ko, i-upcycle na lang natin or i-makeover na lang natin yung existing na meron tayo. So, ayan. Ginawa ko siyang gold. Tapos, ngayon, after two months, nakapaisip na ako, ginawa ko na yung marble top. So, indecisiveness, complacency, cross out. So, yung ipapakita ko sa inyo yung vanity mirror lang. Pero, meron pa yung silikon yung lagay ng desktop. And, dati yung vanity mirror, nung wala pa ako sa buhay ni Justin, dati niyang lagay ng recording equipment. But then, Love makes you selfless. Binigyan niya na lang sa akin. So, binili ko tong compact paper, PVC, wallpaper, kung ano nang tawag nila dito, sa Lazada, for only 119 pesos plus shipping fee na 50 pesos. So, that's do the math. And then, the size of this is 45 centimeters by 10 meters. So, medyo mahaba-haba siya, which I like. But then, hindi ko binigyan sila ng 5 star because medyo misleading yung photos nila. Nakalagay doon, glossy marble print. But nala, nakalagay sa description, matte. And then, yung photos nila, iba yung print sa mismong product pagdating nung package sa akin. So, okay lang naman ako sa print. Wala naman problema. Pero hindi yung print yung mismong nasa picture nila. So, yun lang part na yun yung medyo ganun. But, other than that, it's so easy to maneuver. I like this so much. And it's very tipid. Sobrang mura. And it's a yes for me. So yeah, let's start. Dahil ang dami ko ng fada. Pasensyahan nyo pala yung audio. Yung audio. Pasensyahan nyo yung pag, pagka-timelapse nung, nung video na to. Kasi so pagpasensyahan pagpasensya nyo pala yung pagka-timelapse ng video na to. Kasi nung nirecord ko siya, naka-timelapse na. So, nung nag-post-process na ako, nas nahihirapan tuloy ako ng i- papagaling yung timelapse. Kasi parang nag- putol-putol na siya. So, yeah. Let's start the, the tutorial. So, first and foremost, syempre, tinanggal ko muna ang mga kalat. Mukha lang yung kalat para naka-organize yan. If napansin nyo, lahat ng organizers ko are acrylic because I want to see everything para magamit ko. Kasi may tendencies to forget kapag yun nakikita ng mata ko. Out of sight, out of appetite. Next step is punasan yung glass and make sure na lahat ng dust ay malinis para mas dikit yung compact paper. Dapat sobrang smooth ng surface para di mag-bubbles or walang bako-bako. We don't want that, right? 
I'm using microfiber para walang fiber na maiwan. And I also finished wiping with Scotch Bright Easy Sweeper. You may also use wet tissue or wet newspaper if wala kayo nito. It took me around 10 minutes para mapunas, which was totally a waste of time kasi your girl is low key OC. Next step. So, cutting yung compact paper sa length ng table. I suggest na sobrahan mo or lagyan mo ng allowance yung size ng paper para may room for mistakes. Mas easier magbawas kaysa magdagdag ng daan. As you can see, may nasaya akong paper dahil usin na naman ako at di ko naisip yung sinasabi ko ngayon. So, learn from my mistakes. Allowance is the key. After ko nadikit yung first part, easier na lang lahat. I suggest section by section mo ipil yung paper para mas madali kapag nagkamali. Wow, that kind of rhyme. I use this spatula looking thing para ma-flatten yung surface. And to be honest, mas mabilis kapag kamay lang. You can also use a credit card para ma-straighten yung surface para maiwasan yung bubbles. Here, I cut the paper nung malapit na ako sa dulo but it's easier kapag kinot mo siya before mo siya inikit. I folded the excess paper downwards to finish the edges. You don't have to make this perfect kasi hindi naman talaga nakikita. Also, this maleta saved my glass kasi nahulog siya and nasalo niya. Buti na lang nandiyan siya. Dapat kasi ginagawa ito sa flat surface by the way. Idea ni sa sahig. But since tamad ako and nabigat yung glass, ayan. Actually, Nagsisi ako kung baka shinoot ko to na naka-timelapse kasi hindi na naka-in-sync yung audio ko sa footage. Well, now I know what to do next. So, sa next area, I learned my lesson na gupitin muna yung sticker bago stick. And don't be scared to put more allowance sa edges. Sobrang favorite ko tong maliit na part na to kasi sobrang bilis and perfect ng gawa ko. Sa so next part, medyo na OC na naman ako kasi gusto ko sana seamless yung print but that's impossible kasi ayaw ko magsayang. So, ang ginawa ko na lang is to perfectly meet yung edge ng paper na nakadikit sa bagong ilalagay para hindi mag... But if it's not possible, okay lang naman mag-overlap. Then again, if fold yung edges and then we're done. Our marble top is done. So, natapos din finally ang ating another DIY video. But still, I am indecisive kung anong vanity mirror yung kukunin ko for our table. I'm not sure kung yung frameless na my Hollywood lights yung kukunin ko kasi I really wanted yung curve. So, ito lang yung requirement ko sa ilaw. Dapat hindi siya square kasi Gusto ko nga yung mga designs ko medyo soft ganyan kasi medyo harsh na yung edges ng table list. Papalitan ko yung existing mirror ko which is rectangle. So I'm thinking about three mirrors. The first one is yung Hollywood frameless na may mga lights. I'm thinking it's practical and magagamit ko siya pag may makeup ganun. But then, may mga ilaw naman na din ako sa sa bahay. So, pwedeng hindi na. And also, gusto ko talaga yung design nung may gold sa gilid. Kasi, parang curated siya or bagay siya dun sa table. Kasi nga yung table gold na rin, diba? So, lost ako. Lost ako. Torn ako between the round one, yung ganitong itsura. Yung mga ganito kasi yung mga very uso ngayon, diba? Like, aesthetics, ganyan. Or itong Felicia Arch, which is also nice, unique, ganyan, and very rustic feels, vintage, ganyan. So, ayun, hindi ko alam sa dalawa ko ano yung kukunin ko. Let me know in the comments section down below kung what's your thoughts and help me decide. And also, let me know in the comments kung ano yung mga contents na gusto yung makita sa channel ko para next time magawa ko. I won't promise though, but I'll try. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I appreciate it. 
that you're here right now. Don't forget to like this video kapag nagustuhan nyo. Or... Okay, don't forget to like this video. Hit subscribe and hit... Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe and hit that bell button para ma-notify kayo every time na may new upload ako. Thank you so much for watching. See you again. Bye!